No, we're good. We're just, we're just past him. Oh, I just missed another bite. Just missed another. No. Huh? Oh, there we go. Oh, shit, nice. I think it's the final fish of the day for me, almost. If I can get this in, Tan. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh. 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 What the buck is up? Hope you're having a buck and outrageous day. So today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to bottom mount. All right guys, so here we go. Got a bottom mounter here. So it's a wire that runs into a three ounce piece of lead. And then you got a swivel here. And you're gonna connect your line to this section over here where the hoop is. And then you're gonna put, open your snap and you're gonna put a worm harness that runs to the end and it has a double hook there. So that blade is gonna continue spinning as it goes like this. And you're gonna travel down the water and it's gonna spin around and you're gonna add a worm on the end of this hook. Fish love it, especially when you have to trade it in for uh, like a summer type fishing, you know what I'm saying? And it's something also that covers a lot of water and you know, it's actually a lot of fun instead of just jigging all the time and just trying something new. Uh, I'm gonna be using like a chartreuse one in a moment and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this, all right? So we'll get it rigged up and we're gonna drop it down there, catch some fish. All right, so I'm all rigged up here. And uh, right now, got my worm. So what I do is I, I like to feed it down the line right here. And then just leave a little tip on the end. And I usually just put a little piece of like a, a plastic, maybe a, uh, another wind out worm or anything at the top. But I was gonna leave it just like this because it works pretty well. But when you feed it, the worm through the line like this, it actually lasts you a long time. Even if you get a bite, it just doesn't tear off. So it's a little trick that I like to use. And uh, we're gonna try to get up to the bottom. So I'm over here, we're just gonna get into the water. What I like to do is just put it in the water real quick. Make sure that harness is full pulling behind. And I'm gonna drop and find this bottom. So there's the bottom. And you wanna find the right tempo where you can feel it just tapping along the bottom. So right now, there you go. So I'm on the bottom. And that tip of that wire is just bouncing along the bottom there and my harness is spinning behind it getting dragged so hopefully we've smashed some fish we're gonna look for some nice big walleyes and whatever's left over the season we're gonna do that we're gonna be fishing through the summer this way this is the best effective way in the summer for me the jig gets very tough this is the go-to so stay tuned all right let's hit this bottom water seems pretty clear Running it after work just for a quick quick session with my cousin Tan. And uh it's a northeast wind right now. And we're hoping that we could uh catch some nice fish. Well, northwest since it's switched, but it's north something. Using bottom bouncers because uh walleye season from uh, jigging is getting very tough. I mean you get very few, but you gotta work very hard. But this is the best way to cover a lot of ground. And you can catch a lot of variety of fish while at the same time. So I'm using a three ounce three ounce bottom bouncer. And I'm using a worm harness, a chartreuse one with painted a little different pattern. I got it from a, my buddy Judgy. And uh, we're going to be running some real live earthworms down there. So I just let it hit the bottom. And I want the tip just to keep bouncing along that bottom. Like tick, 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 tick. And that's the pace that you're looking for right now. If you're just dragging along the bottom, I mean, you can catch fish, but it's not super efficient. But if you can get it to tick along the bottom and get that blade spinning down there, crushing it, crushing it. So stay tuned. It's roughly about 6.30 and we're going to go to about 8.30 or so. Oh, I just missed a bite there. Just missed a bite there. So 8.30 or so. And uh, we're going to see what we do. If I don't catch anything, 
and so be it but if i do then we win so let's go do this all right guys so here it is vehicle of the day that is a freighter that's unloading right there i know it's always a freighter right because this is the detroit river i need to find something new i missed the cruise ship that used to come by here uh, i was at work and stuff like that always busy out doing some other things trying to get some youtube videos here and there but i missed the cute cruise ship i should have got that for you guys but right there freighter unloading the stones Tay, you got a fish yes, sir. oh man this one's not too, too big. that's all right we got a fish on row right in the middle of our vehicle today so i'm gonna net this for him that's all right fish is a fish bro fish is a fish all right all right there you go yay yes sir so first fish of the day right here uh nice little tiny walleye he's using a pink harness with the white blade on it bottom boss is way to go like i said hooked up with a night crawler there we're gonna start to try to catch some more effective effective you got one? Yeah. As soon as I put on the fresh worm, the first worm I grabbed it was like kind of smelly. Like a dead worm. Oh, I just missed a bite. Yeah, put a fresh one on, bro. I have a fresh one on. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. damn, oh. Ted, help me. There you go. Oh, Holy. Damn, that's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, thanks. <laughs> Holy smokes, that's a big one. Good one for sure. That's how you're gonna string the worm, bro. That's crazy. You hear all the trucks up there right now. That's crazy. So we're drifting by the Ambassador Bridge right now, just right under it. Look at that old ass structure. <laughs> I, I, like I said, I can't believe it's still holding. It looks like they got the, uh, I don't know, steel grates or whatever it is, just in case any cement falls or anything like that, or any debris, just to protect everybody that's under. But man, that is a huge, huge bridge. Uh, I'm gonna be pretty proud that we're doing the windows for the new bridge that's over there because I work for a window company and uh, it's going to be actually pretty cool to be a part of that. So that's going to be the biggest structure that we've ever worked on or anything like in Windsor. In our lifetime, you're never going to see them build two highways and then a bridge that goes across. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the expense on that is probably going to be the most expensive thing that I've seen in my lifetime built. So I'm going to be pretty proud of that. Let's catch a fish. This is going to be a a, a tough one right now. Oh my god, I got one. That hit hard. Yeah, I just fixed the blade. First fish today, guys. Took quite a bit, but I finally got one. I got it, Dan. You got it? I got it, brother. Thank you. We got the trusty net. Oh yeah. With the blade spinning in its mouth. Oh yeah. There you go, first fish of the day, guys. Cool. <laughs> That's how you get a wall on a worm harness. So Tan's got the first one. This is my first fish of the day. And pretty, pretty excited there. Smash that. Damn. Got two hooks stu stuck in him. One was in his mouth. One was trailing behind, but nice little eaters. I'm gonna put this in a cooler and uh, I'm gonna continue to catch more. Are you sure? Okay, it became a walleye. Alright, I'll leave this open real quick. 
Get this net. Just drop one in there. Oh, oh the white perch? Yeah. I'll take those. Right. Nice. My grandmother wanted some of those. They're really good eating, so she likes the smaller fish, so she doesn't have to eat so much. Thank you, Ted. All right, all right. Leave it open? Yeah, if you want. So the way we're running this bottom monster right now is you got the worm harness on there and everything. And what you want to do is you want to point your direction into the wind with your trolling motor and you want to push it downstream so that you're faster than the harness so it spins, you know what I'm saying? You don't want it to go in the speed that you're jigging. You want it to be able to have that pin bounce against the bottom. So he's going to run that trolling motor and push it forward. And we're going to find that bottom and we're going to show you guys how to catch this fish. So let's put it down. That pin right there is going to bounce along the bottom. Got to make sure your stuff is not tangled. Get this down there real quick. What I like to do is I like to check my bait every so often and um, make sure that there's no weeds on it or anything because the weeds and all that stuff make your blades start spinning or your worm not visible so it just looks like a pile of weeds you know what kind of fish wants to eat weeds <laughs> so we're gonna try to find this bottom we try to push us forward real quick we both just caught a fish so gotta get reset up here so you can see right now he's starting to push us forward and my line is starting to go behind us so that the boat is quicker than our pin so our harness is down there it's gonna spin in that direction like this and have that worm on the end covering a lot of ground right now what you want to do is you want to feel that bottom ticking so try to find the bottom right now there we go and i'm just pretty much ticking along that bottom Hoping that fish place get a little bit more line out. You want to try to get it a little bit of an angle. I can't really say the degree because it depends on how much wood you have and how fast you're traveling. And what also matters is the weight of the bottom monster that you're using. I'm using a three ounce right now, and the, it's very common to use a three ounce or a 2.5, either or. I find that they both work the best on the Detroit River. Uh, the theory of using a bottom monster is. Uh, an ounce for every 10 feet so if you follow that rule you're gonna probably do wonders with that all right let's, there you go now I'm behind me and it's bouncing along the bottom oh there we go fish on Wait. yeah fish on as soon as I'm as soon as I, I got it down there bro it started ticking nice nice so that's how you do it there on the bottom of the it's gonna be a pretty good one I got it, I got it. So another walleye on the day. Good size eaters here. Get this net over here. Oh, oh. No, the iron is stuck in it. So I'm just gonna boat flip it. All right, there you go. Not such a big one, but good size eaters. Right there, down the gullet. Careful, because these fish have crazy teeth. Oh yeah, gotta love walleye fishing in this form. Cover a lot of ground, catch a lot of fish, especially in the worst times. So we get this off real quick and uh, put this in the cooler. Look at all, oh I got some other line out here and stuff. There's something on the end of this line. Bro, seriously bro. So let's get all this weed off here first. Only a uh, con about worm harnessing is when that happens. But we're gonna find out what I got on the end of my line because I caught somebody's fishing line out here. And uh, I'm gonna show you in a second. All right, so here you go. This is what I got right here. I snagged another worm harness, a bottom mouser. So I win for the day. <laughs> wow. Oh. Up and nice blade too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Cool. I exactly didn't lose. I gained. We're gonna cut all this off here. Uh, bottom yeah. 
And it's a three ouncer too. I never even seen that kind before. So whoever uh, lost that, I got it. I got it. We're gonna cut all this off here and uh, deal with that real quick. Broken line here. And we're gonna get back in there. All right, so we're gonna start our second drift now. I'm um, just making it out. And we're gonna start over here at uh, downtown right now, Windsor. Beautiful view right behind me. I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. And let me turn the switch off for you. All right, there you go. All right, so right there, let's take a look at this. Right there, that's the Vacasa Bay. That's a cruise boat for uh, Windsor side. And I think the Diamond is the American side, but we got the Canadian flag, the Diamond of the Chrysler building. The old, C I think it's still CIBC. That's the CIBC building. And there is the Cleary or St. Clair College for uh, Center of the Arts. So I love the shoreline here also. It's a beautiful, beautiful site. Maybe not as nice as Detroit, but it's still really beautiful. But once we get these big buildings all over here also, people are gonna start really loving it. But we're gonna get back in this water and uh, we did one drift, short drift so far. We ended up with four. There's something going on there, Tam, with the fire uh, fire truck. Look at that, the street's blocked off. Some oh, there's a car accident. That's crazy. You're right on the corner of huh? What are you pretty hard hit right there? Yeah. Right on uh, Olette and uh Riverside there. Oh, they're okay. A lot of people surrounding that car. Looks like they hit like a bike or something. Oh man. Anyways, we're gonna start our drift. And hope we get some fish. So right in front of me here is Dieppe Park. And it's beautiful. Uh, there's a lot of nice things going on down here. Sometimes they have the like, musicians play in that section right there. Uh, we have like a festival section that goes over there. They throw like a carnival and stuff like that. They throw some food vendings like the the Buskers Fest, the the was that the, the rib fest, all that stuff over there. We got the casino. But over here is where everybody starts fishing over here at the app wall. Very good spot, very deep right off the bat, you know what I'm saying? So the fish like to hug that wall there. We're just gonna fish a little outwards because it is a tough time right now, you know. Walleye fishing is starting to come to an end and you gotta change up your tactics. This is the way to do it. Way to do it. You can see the woods just howling against the flags right there. So we're just battling against the wind. Hell yeah, it's way deeper here. Yeah, deep. Really deep. You can feel it. Come on, fish. Oh, there's the keg. There's another fire truck over here blocking the street off. That's crazy. Really hope they're okay. But you can see all the people on the shoreline right now. Very, very busy for your fun. Our waterfront is uh, amazing, especially for fitness and stuff like that. Oh, fish on, bro. Oh, yeah. Look, like I was saying, very good for fitness, but we're on a walleye again. And I might be able to just boat flip this one. Nice. So cover ground real quick. We're going to boat flip this one in. There we go. Third walleye day for me. Pretty cool. Oh, but job, bro. thank you, thank you. Cover the ground real quick. And uh like I said, that method works the best for me during the summer days. The dog days of summers. I mean jigging still works, but covering ground like this, amazing. Amazing. Get this thing open in there. Let's get back in this water again. Right, so my cousin Tan is on one. So far for a tough day, we're actually doing pretty really decent. Tough really tough day, but we're doing decent. We're getting the job done. Fighter, fighter, yeah. biling. Oh yeah, nice. Thank you, sir. Oh, here you go, Tan. Three and three. There you go. All right, one man limit so far. <laughs> one man limit, we're getting there. Sturgeon. Feel it. I can feel it. It's pulling my line right now. Oh, your line just caught in one spot and your the boat's still moving. Oh, damn. 
bro. Nice old big one. Wow, this one's gonna be nice. I got it, Tan. I got it. 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 But did it come off? No, it's still there. I'm about to say, oh, oh, it's a little one. Why is the bite so strong? I don't know. I'm just gonna flick it in though. <laughs> Jamaica. Yeah, Jamaican one, huh? <laughs> oh, it came off. Dehooked itself. All right. Another size good little eater there. Jamaica. <laughs> Had to struggle there. Woo. We're getting it done though, bro. Oh, yeah. Getting it done. I'm gonna get this open. One and one six. <laughs> All right. Let's get another one. Let's get another one. <laughs> Crushing him. This is number eight. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Nice. So Tan's on another one. I think we're four four now. Yeah. We're pacing each other. We're pacing each other. Oh, it's a nice one. We're tied right now. Oh yes. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, Tan. Oh, there you go. Oh shit! Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hooked and everything. Oh yeah. All right, brother. Thank you, sir. Oh yeah. Killing it. Pretty close. Pretty close to the two man. Let's get another worm on there. Tell you want another worm? You sure? I can always pick more. That's right, guys. I pick my own worms. I'll throw one in a cup here for you. Yeah. I don't care. I got it, bro. Yay! We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Man, I want to hit like out of nowhere, just poof. I don't want to like about it. They, they like charge at it because they, they only have one chance to get it. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh shit! <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> nice, Dan. That was a small one, but it's a big one. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Good one for sure. <laughs> oh man, this pot is like action right now. Yeah. Nice. Put that in there, bro. Nice. Nice. Oh yeah. Go. Yeah. Oh, we're getting close. We're definitely getting close. Yeah. Oh, got one. Nice. Oh, wow, what is this? It's a nice one, that's what it is. I hope so. I hope so. Oh, it is. That's all right. I got it. Both of them. Word. That's number 10 for the boat, bro. Jamaica's doing it for us. The Jamaica Blade. <laughs> nice little eaters today. Bro, we're getting very, very close. Uh, you ready to go back? Yeah, we'll go do one more drift if you like. Yeah, we got to. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that spot was really hot. Just run this bay right here. Yeah. It would just keep crushing them, man. man. So guys, we ran this bay just right here and we caught like five in that last little run. And we went all the way downtown, we only caught one, but as soon as we hit the spot here, just started annihilating them for some reason. So we're gonna make one more drift and hopefully finish it off. We're at 10. So, so far, me and uh, my cousin Tan ran two drifts. And uh, we did pretty well so far. We started off pretty slow. We thought we were gonna have a little bit of trouble and we just had to figure out where the spots were. So we drifted downtown and a little bit past the bridge and stuff like that. We only caught a few, but as soon as we hit the spot right here at our park that we usually fish at, we started crushing them again. Doesn't like the, look like the shoreline is doing so much though. But this method that we're covering right now doing pretty well we asked a few guys on shore how well they're doing like one fish here one fish there not too much going on over there they're still struggling but us right now we're two fish away from our limit i think tan's got five and i got five so we're, we're keeping pace with each other 
we're hoping to do this one last drift here and finish it off on the night because there's only about a half an hour of sunlight left and we don't want to be fishing out too too late we got off of work around six o'clock got here about 6 30 ish and we're going to try to leave for about 8 8 30 ish you know what i'm saying so actually we got here about like 6 45 almost 7 o'clock because we had to wait a little bit but we're going to finish around 8 30 like i said and hopefully the two-man limit happens and we get out some good some good eats good way to cover it bottom bouncing where no no No, we're good. We're just, we're just past them. Oh, I just missed another bite. Just missed another. No. Huh? Oh, there we go. Oh, shit, nice. I think it's the final fish of the day for me almost. If I can get this in tan. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh it's a nice one. Oh, 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 oh. get in there! Get in there! Dan! Oh, give me a hand! Give me a hand! Oh, yay! Woo! <laughs> Oh man, guys, <laughs> look at that one there. That's a beastly of a fish. So there you guys go. That's my number six fish of the day. Slaying them right now. Crushing on a bottom bouncer, you guys wanna do pretty well. That's what you guys gotta do. Use a bottom bouncer, cover a lot of ground, and you'll catch fish like this. I'm actually very happy I got this one. I haven't got a big one in a while, but into the cooler. That cooler is stacked right now. Right to the bottom. Right there, guys. Crush them today. <laughs> Ted! Yeah. Oh, man. The final fish. The final fish. The right final here. fish. Yes. Oh, oh, my God. I didn't even expect it to be that big. <laughs> I thought you could flip it. Yay! The two man limit. Ta da! Ta da! Yeah. What the heck oh. is that? Whoa! Look at that! <laughs> it's, a, it's a perch. He's like, what the hell is that? So, <laughs> bro, what is that? I don't know. I'm going to take a look at it. Look at that, guys. That thing just burnt that up. Look at that. It looks like a perch. That is a perch. Look at the head. That is definitely a perch. No skin on it. Alien fish. Wow. Back to the Detroit River. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. That's the end of our day there. We end up with a nice two-man limit. So that's how you guys bottom bounce. You know, make sure you guys get your worm harnesses, your bottom bouncers. I like to use a two and a half to three ounce. It depends on the depth. We're running roughly about 40 feet-ish, 30 feet-ish. Like I said, uh, 10 feet for every ounce. You know, that's three ounces are just about right, just about right for the river. Uh, make sure that you're pushing your uh, boat downstream and make sure that you're traveling faster than your harness so it spins correctly and tan's right here smashing this fish <laughs> we're just gonna fish for the fun of it if you guys liked it enjoy that like share subscribe and if i haven't caught you in this one i'll catch you on the next peace <laughs>